better weather for the total solar eclipse than today because Pete, I've been I, trying to think. I'll of, tell you, I can guarantee it's going to be better than this. Yeah, I've been <laughs> trying to think of a word all day to describe it, Pete. You hit it on the head. Ugh, that's it. Yes. That works. I don't know how to spell it, but it works. <laughs> right, yeah. as well as a lot of George Carlin words, which we're not going to say. <laughs> but by the way, what you're hearing right now is not just rain. There's also sleet falling. So when it's raining and sleeting, it is like, oh, out here. It, it's down to 37 as well. So where do we go from here? Let's take a look. So we are already in the midst of a changeover from rain to obviously rain and sleet right now. And we're also going to change over to snow. And you know what? I'm going to get wet. I, we're not going to be able to see any of that map with my umbrella in here. We've got rain and sleet. We're going to go to rain, sleet, and snow, and then all snow. But like we've been saying and pounding the table, at least here locally in central New York and also across upstate New York and eastern New York, elevation variation, which means that the highest amounts will be the highest peaks of the Adirondacks. The lowest amounts will be the lowest elevations and closer to the lakeshore, as you'll see. Regardless of how much snow is on the ground by tomorrow morning, the pattern remains poor all day Thursday, all day Friday, even Friday night and Saturday. It's not until Sunday that things look better and feel better outside, which, by the way, then brings us to Monday and our expectation for the eclipse still looking great and way better than this. The only thing that we're a little concerned about is mid and high level clouds that may obscure the sun a little bit, but we'll see. Fossil Service Experts Live Triple Doppler Radar. Again, we've got that mixed mess. We've got rain and sleet, sometimes some snow. We've even had some lightning over the past half hour cross the Route 31 corridor and move northward inside some of this intense cell action you see here. In the short term, things are coming in from this direction. It'll actually come in from this direction as well. All the while, precipitation basically continues across upstate New York. You can already see the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks starting to change over as well as the highest elevations of southwest New York. Let's take you on a journey, hour by hour, place by place. Between now and 8 o'clock, it's pretty much the same thing, rain and a wet mix. We'll stop the clock now at 11. The only difference really is the temperature is a little lower and we're changing over to snow North Country, Canada and Adirondacks first, which is why those areas will get more snow than everybody else by tomorrow morning. Now, during the time you're sleeping, unless you're a really early riser, most of us at 3 a.m. probably either all snow or snow sleep mixture. By the time you wake up, most of us should be snowing. And by the time we get to late morning, midday, regardless if you've got snow, sleet, or rain, temperatures are going to be too warm to get additional accumulation past like 9 a.m. So how much snow will be on the ground by tomorrow morning? Like we showed yesterday, we've only made a minor adjustment, basically low amounts. Most lower elevations, the shoreline of Lake Ontario and Oneida Lake, and the Finger Lakes, anywhere from a melting nothing to a trace half inch to an inch. There's the Adirondacks in Hamilton County. There's the foot plus. Eastern Tug Hill, like Turin area, six inches to eight inches likely. We go zooming in just south of the 173 corridor. That's the best chance of getting to an inch, maybe two or three. And you can see some of the highest elevations of Southern Oneida, parts of Madison, Cortland, and Shenango counties getting three, maybe even four or five inches of snow there. No additional accumulation during the day Thursday. But Thursday night, we're just cold enough to put a little coating on top, maybe an inch or two. Friday, again, rain and wet snow showers, no additional accumulation, but still raw. Another coating to an inch or two Friday night. And then Saturday is just cloudy with leftover minor light rain and snow showers. Clouds and sun Sunday, finally back to a seasonable 53. Eclipse, mixed sun and clouds, 60. And it looks like we're 60 or better through Wednesday. Stanley Law Skywatch showing you... It's miserable. I can't wait to go back inside, back inside of you.